Don't make me do this. Tyler, it's for your own good. I checked out this program. Miss Lambert's helped a lot of kids. I, I think she can help you, too. OK? Tyler. I'm doing this because I want you to get better. Sing a gimme, you live. You brick, you don't. See, they call me panic because I never do. How about you? You're not gonna kill me. Maybe I won't. Or maybe I'll just have my dog rip your leg off. <laughs> Shoot the ball, <laughs> man. I ain't got all day. I'm a busy man. Yeah, I do. Game's over. The far-fetched fairy tale. To unbelievable. To inconceivable. Hi. Hi. Must be Tyler Burns. Yeah. 
I'm Holly Lambert. I'm the director of the Wilderness Project. I'm glad you could make it. Oh, thank my dad. I'm sure you're gonna have some fun. Hi, Tyler. I'm Charles Danson. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Let me out. And, uh, this is my daughter, Melissa. She's gonna be helping us out. Hi, Tyler. Hi. Thanks. Adults, don't believe a word they say. You're gonna hate this trip more than I will. Melissa, I need your help. Hey, Boron! We haven't finished yet. Hey! You interested in communing with the wilderness? <laughs> Gerald Lumley, you still trying to be the toughest kid on the block? Only way to survive in this jungle. Yeah, well, I'm sure glad you could join us. I figured it'd be good for a few laughs. And write homes. Whatever. See that shit? Stop son of guns. See how much this thing costs? Uh, Daddy said the IRS paid for it. Since it was so cheap, I asked the old man to buy me one too. Only if you drive to Mexico, he says. And stay there! Do I look Mexican to you? Yeah. Hang these for me, would you, hun? And don't wrinkle them. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> Sucker. Join the club, hun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go do battle. Yeah. No more than your Romeo, babe. Bumps. I don't think dogs can get measles. Yeah, well, who died and made you Dr. Welby? <laughs> Let me see it. Oh. Yeah. It's a tick. Vampires of the insect world. Oh, that sucker's nasty. Gonna match or something? Yeah, hold on. My grandfather told me this. They're too tough to squash. <laughs> Someone burning something over there? Sorry, Hall. Uh, little man Todd over here was gonna smoke, but I told him he'd be rude. Start his growth. Uh-huh. Sucker. I like that man. Last chance for the guys. Roman, you've only them. Hey, 
Hey, what am I, the bank dude? You getting out or what? <laughs> Stay, Bruce. Ah, jackpots. What's that? See that Cholo's guns? She's trying to buff up for his honey, right? Steroids. What are you gonna do? She ain't a wealth, man. You're a thief, too? Oh, potty hats. Now I know where Chuck's head is at. Did you ever kill anybody? What kind of question is that? Pretty direct one. All right. I've killed about as many dudes as you bone chicks. You make the call. That many? Wow. Jeez. Your kids are. Hey, fuck that damn truck here. You gonna block everybody. Move it down the way so people can get in here. Hi there, cutie. <laughs> what brings you to our neck of the woods? Huh? <laughs> Jerry. Manners. Yes, sir. Hi there. Now 1900 hours Greenwich Mean Time. Today, in our series on the world's hidden economy, we travel across the pond to sunny California, where former hippies, businessmen, and Vietnam veterans have created a high-yield, high-tech industry protected by a formidable terrain. Network. Yeah, but we don't get health care. Marijuana. Recently, rising demand and competition have led this clandestine enterprise to the latest techniques in scientific horticulture. Narcotics authorities have uncovered an intricate infrastructure of dams, irrigation, and chemical enhancements instructed to maximize an already freewheeling industry. But what the long-term economic and environmental effects will yield, no one can say. Yeah, it'll yield about 9% in a jumbo CD.
Too quiet, it's too goddamn quiet. Come get your bags, guys. Boys and girls in separate cabins, Rome. What am I, the valet? What the hell you got in here, Didi? This place reminds me of Boys Republic back in Juvenile Hall. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, send me some closet space, man. Lovely. Bet that's dinner. Not anymore. Bag that shit, man. I can't put my clothes in here. <laughs> it's all yours, Holmes. <laughs> Thanks. Seven eighteen ninety three. We have just arrived at the campsite. My partner Holly, having made this trip several times prior, is the only person in our group possessing any real outdoor survivalist skills. The rest of us bring only our every man for himself instinct fostered by urban living. As I expected, the subject's first reaction was one of disassociation. There's Rome and Didi, hastily converting this new environment into their own both returning to what is no doubt habitual behavior. <sighs> Shit. And then there's panic. A perfect model of aggressive dysfunction. He cannot accept this radical change, so instead assaults it. And poor Kelly, a prisoner of her own troubled mind. In the end, I fear this group will not successfully bond despite their common antagonist. In this case, nature. You must think I hate everything, huh? I know, actually, I, uh... You must like coming up here with your dad, huh? No, I hate it. I hate this place. I mean, everybody says coming out to nature is supposed to be a poetic, inspiring experience, right? What is so inspiring about bugs and insects and snakes and creatures of the night making all that racket? It's suffocating and it's vile. And it's full of rot. 
Can we, can we go back now? What's wrong with you? Why are you sweating? Um, sometimes I get the feeling like something really bad is gonna happen. Like what? I don't know. Wait! Don't move. Nice try. There's something on your back. What is it? Come on, Tyler, what is it? I have no idea. Get it off, Tyler. It's stuck. You're hurting me. Stop it. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get it off. Ah! Ah! Tyler, get it off now! Get it off now, Tyler! I can't get it off! I don't know. I'm going to go back to Arizona. Hey, yo, Chuck, these burgers ain't half bad. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Daryl. I think I like you. Burger, please. Charles! Charles, you would not believe it. What happened to you two? Well, Melissa got attacked by some big bug or something. Can we go home? Well, we are out in the wilderness, you know. No, I know, but this wasn't your average wilderness bug, okay? It was no, kinda... wait, this, this thing was like glued to my back or something. It, it, was, it was gross, it was all slimy, it was like a, like a... Like a big snut. Oh, come on, you're making me ill. <laughs> Just don't touch it if you don't know what it is. Don't touch it, it attacked me. Oh, come on, guys, bugs don't attack unless they're aggravated. Great, classic story, the adults not leaving the kids. Thanks. See, I should have brought a piece, man. This place ain't safe. I think you guys are overreacting. And yeah. I suggest you observe from a distance. You'd be surprised how much you can learn. Yeah, right. We'll learn this whole trip is a stupid idea. Melissa, please, you don't hear the other kids whining. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look, it isn't the happy campers. Huh? Keeping yourselves out of trouble, I hope. I apologize for the loud music. Oh, don't mention it. We were young once. Charles <laughs> Danson. Oh, you can call me sir. I, this is my associate. Jerry. Um, would you like a burger? Yeah, don't mind if I do. Oh, uh, thank you, but not yet. We just stopped by to offer a friendly word of advice. Well, since they closed down the logging mill, some of the locals have taken to, well, illicit means of getting by. What does that mean? Beware the cash croppers. Cash croppers? Uh, dope growers. <laughs> what, uh, <clears throat> what kind of dope? Mary Lana. Here? Now, I'm not trying to scare you folks or ruin your vacation, but, well, these people are the devil's own. Well, I don't want to see anyone else get hurt. This is our problem. Let us deal with it. Well, I don't think you have anything to worry about. Mm -hmm. We have plenty to occupy us here at the camp, don't we, guys? Well, I guess we better be going. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, it's our pleasure. Au revoir. <laughs> These all your kids? <laughs> like home without the choppers hopefully it was one of those cash coppers getting shot oh, god you didn't believe that stupid shit did you god you're so naive i'd rather be naive than a spoiled bitch like you 
natives are restless. Really? <laughs> Far-fetched fairy tale. Hey, Romeo, what's the word? Super unleaded, fresh from the van, homeboy. Hit it. No, that's way too much gas. Let there be light. Jeez. What the hell are they doing out there? Wait, Charles, I'll go. Woo! Oh. Burn, baby, burn! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. What's this? What's going on? Jesus Christ! Are you guys crazy? This area is a fire hazard. That's what the signs meant on the way up here. Are you trying to start a forest fire? Now, come on, guys, you can't be that stupid. What, what are you looking at me for, man? Don't call me stupid. Chill out, Chuck. Nobody ever taught us how to make a campfire. I mean, what do you want from us? OK, all right, it's no big deal. Maybe I'll show you how to start a campfire tomorrow night, all right? Right now, I'm just a little busy inside. Busy? Busy what? Screwing Holly? Damn. I heard that. She's got guts. I'll give her that. You see my dog? Ah! Man, what the hell's wrong with you? Are you sick? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just working something out. See, old man, I've given you shit and you've taken it. But you got here in the woods, man, and you're like, you're scared, you know? You're tripping on your own shadow. Um, sometimes when I, when I'm, when I'm alone, I just, I get dizzy. See, nah, man, you gotta be like my dog, man. You gotta be able to run all hell into it, man. Don't be scared of nothing. You'll be all right. Go get some help, man. Go get some help, man. Hurry up! Charles! Oh, Jesus. What now? There's something wrong with Panic's dog! Scratching, and then he wouldn't move. I said, Brutus, but he didn't know who I was. He didn't know who I was. I said, Brutus, and he wouldn't move. He wouldn't move. Brutus. What are you gonna do? Look, I don't belong here, man. Shit, why Brutus, man, huh? I should have never brought my dog to this fucking nightmare. Damn! See, I figured it'd be me who would get in a drive-by shooting, but my dog and my fucking dog would be okay. Look, I'm out of here, man. I've had enough of this bonanza bullshit. Well, come on, you're just a little crazy now. <laughs> Crazy? You open your mouth till I'm gone, and I'll show you just how crazy I can be.
Sheriff. Thanks for coming. Something must have happened. It seemed rabid, and then it just died. What a mess. Could be rabid, I guess. Could be just about anything. Might want to take him down to Doc Cates, though, just to make sure. Hungry, Sheriff? No, thanks. <clears throat> long as I'm here, Jarvis Tanner, a local fellow, never came home last night. About, uh, ye tall, shaggy brown hair. No involved? Haven't seen him. Well, he'd probably turn up. Sorry to bother you. Hey, guys, where's Panic? Could you please go wake him up? Sure. Tyler, what's the matter? He's not there. He's gone. Gone? Back to L.A. What? Well, he, he left last night. He said he was going to try and hitch a ride or something. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Tyler, why didn't you say something? I mean, you know you guys are my responsibility. Oh, this is just great. Shit. Well, like I wanted him to go? Come on, this is my fault? What, like I didn't try to stop him? Tyler. Tyler, get back here. It's always somebody else's fault, isn't it, Dad? It's not your fault, Tyler. My dad's just an asshole. I told him it was stupid to go. Hey, don't worry about Panic. Panic will be fine. If he can survive out in the city, he can survive out here, right? Panic will be fine. Tyler, I'm gonna go look for Panic. Uh... You want to come? What? I'm going to go look for Panic. You want to join me? In the woods? Yeah, I've got to take Brutus down to the vet. I thought maybe we'd see Panic somewhere along the road. Come on, Tyler. I'll go, too. No, Melissa. I'd rather you stay here. Holly's going to need some support. Dad, no. Melissa, please. I sure hope Panic's all right. I think Panic can pretty well take care of himself. You know, Tyler, I can't help but notice you seem pretty uncomfortable up here. Actually, you seem pretty afraid most of the time. I guess I am. Well, what happened to you? Well, my dad and I went camping when I was about eight. He got drunk and took off. So I was lost in the woods for a couple of days. Just held onto a tree. That's all I really remember. But it just keeps getting worse and worse, you know? I mean, I couldn't even go to school sometimes last year. It's pretty embarrassing to keep throwing up in the hallway. So your father thought uh, trial by fire might be the cure for you? My dad's not much into doctors. I want to get better, though. It's just when I'm alone, I get scared. There used to be a foreign mass under the sternum. A thoracic tumor wouldn't induce the kind of behavior you were describing. Hmm. Strange. Can't 
seem to find any plasma. What does that mean? It means something drained your dog of all his blood. I don't understand. What, what could have caused that? Hey. What's going on here? I think this is like the thing that attacked me and Melissa yesterday. <gasps> what is it? Ixodes Damini. Judging from the mandibles and the pseudo head, a wood tick. Ticks do not get this big. It's a tick. Severely altered, but a tick all the same. What happened to it? The specimen has been covered with something. Possibly an herbal steroid. Steroid? It's illegal, but some of the farmers up here use it on their marijuana fields. To accelerate growth. But that's between us, understand? And these tickets undergone a radical modification. From your description of the dog's behavior, this may have even strengthened the tick's neurotoxin. An anesthetic? Precisely. When a tick bites, it numbs you, so you don't feel it. And in some cases, it can produce a hallucinatory state. Your dog may have been hallucinating, like he was on an LSD trip or something. What if there are more of these out there? you take everyone down to the pond and go fishing? Nobody wants to fish. Did you ask them? <sighs> Kelly, do you want to go fishing? That's one. Hey. Suck my... Whoops! Hiya, Holly. 
Hi. How would you two like to go fishing with Melissa and Kelly? Man, I'm allergic to fish. You're not allergic to fish, Rome. Ask me madre. Okay. Well, you can just as easily sunbathe by the pond, though, couldn't you? What, are you trying to get rid of us? No, I just think it's time you guys had some fun together. Hey, I'm having too much fun already. <laughs> Dee Dee, what about you? Oh, I gotta stay in the shade, you know, that ozone thing. Right. What do you say, Melissa? Take Kelly fishing? Yes, I'll take Kelly fishing. Thank you. Pond. Have you ever been fishing before? Do you like fish? I knew we shouldn't have gone fishing. Why are we going fishing? Well, because Holly wants us to have fun. Hey, I didn't know you could talk. Sometimes I just don't want to talk. Well, you sure had me fooled. Well, I didn't mean to fool anybody. I didn't mean it like that. After I was raped, I just had nothing to say. I'm sorry, I didn't know. I don't know what I would have done if it hadn't been for Holly, though. I wasn't able to talk to my parents about it, but Holly, she, I can talk to her and she understands. You should give her a chance. Cabin Holly will never know. She'll know, and I don't want her to think I'm asleep. Oh, gee, thanks. Not like that. I promised I wouldn't. Holly hates liars, man, more than anything. Well, what are we doing here? This can't be it. Who's fishing a pond like this? Well, I don't know. This is where Holly told us to go. I guess this is it. Okay. What if we run into one of those couch croppers? I'll kick his redneck ass. <laughs> I'll kick his redneck ass. <laughs> Here I come. <laughs> ah! Town, that rank guy, the younger one who came to camp, you should have seen the way he looked at me. It made me feel so weird. Hey, hey, you got a bite, you got a bite! Reel it in, reel it in! I'm reeling it in. Faster, faster, he's just gonna I get know. away. I know what I'm doing. It's stuck. It's stuck. Get the net. The net! Come on, the net! What now? Go in the pond. I'm not going in there. Go in the pond. <sighs> Hurry! It's gonna get away. Melissa! Hurry up!
Wanna be dealer, sir? <laughs> <laughs> A young entrepreneur, huh? What the hell are you talking about? California's finest. Man, I ain't after your goddamn guns. I'm trying to get my ass back to LA. <laughs> <laughs> Must be held a comb. <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet. Yes, sir. Tell me, young man, <laughs> do you like me? Say, yes, sir, I'm a faggot. Yes, sir, you're a faggot! <laughs> Let's kill him first. Sir! Let's kill him first, sir. That's not an altogether bad idea, Jerry. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna carve you a new one, boy! Come on! You fuck! You country 
every fucker! I'm gonna kill him, Bowman! Come on! Oh! 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 Everything's gonna be fine, D. Rome's got you now. Rome's got you now. You hanging in there, D? There, man, she got bit by some bug. <coughs> Must be that neurotoxin. Don't worry, man. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> all right, let's go get the others, then we can take her into town. by an infected tick. What? Daddy! What is it, sweetheart? We think the sheriff's been killed. The girls found a body in the pond and a bullet hole through the sheriff's jeep. I want to get the kids out of here as soon as possible. All right. Let's get our stuff packed and get moving before it gets any darker. I'll get Dee Dee's thing. I'll help you. I'll get yours, Rome. Any sign of Daryl? No. Damn, that crazy kid. You know, contrary to what you think, Charles, these are all good kids. I know. There is a huge fire and a whole bunch of those tick things headed this way. I right, lock the door and get away from it. Jesus H. Christ! Saved our lives. For that, we're eternally grateful. 
but there is bugs everywhere. The fire has got them agitated. <laughs> into town you can ride with us oh, you've just read my mind uh, excuse me uh, jerry needs some medical attention i'll get the first aid kit uh, what, what what seems to be the problem over here she was bitten by one of those bugs yeah <laughs> they bite like a son of a bitch holly oh, holly Going, Charles. Yeah, I'm just worried about how we're gonna get out to the van. Just send one of the kids. We're not sending one of the kids. Why don't you go, Jerry? Bring the van around for all of us. <laughs> like hell. Sir. No, sir, I ain't going. Don't answer it. I said... Appreciate your grief, but well, we best be moving on, unless we want those bugs to get the rest of us. Bugs don't use guns. Somebody shot him. Just like somebody killed a sheriff. Well, what the hell are you saying? It was us, huh? <laughs> Nobody's saying anything. That's right. No one's saying anything except me. You dig? They know, sir. They know about our operation. I say kill them, every stinking one of them. First, I require the keys to the van. <laughs> the keys to the van, Cebu Play. Don't do it, man. We'll never get out of here. Ah! No! Hey, isn't that Romeo? Like the big one, Charles. Leave the kid alone. No! 
Slippery, how you like him. Oily, very oily. Don't you ever wash your hair, you man? Stop it! Get up! Yes, sir. <laughs> I don't have the keys to the van in my hand like pronto. I'm gonna feed you folks, one by one, to our hungry friends outside. <laughs> Say yes, sir. It's dinner time. <laughs> Cooperate, sir. I say we should have some real fun with them. Chuck, give me the key. Uh, all right, all right. Here. <laughs> so, all we need now is a chauffeur. Yeah, but the kids don't drive. <sighs> Sounds like you're volunteering. <laughs> you can't send her, sir. She'll go straight to the law. The law's dead, Jerry. Remember? What about the fire? They'll be all over this place like flies. <clears throat> well, that's very good thinking, Jerry. Now go around and get the van. Not me. Forget it. No way. Yes, sir. Good boy, come on.
Help. Let's help me get over there. Let's get out of here. Guys, get the man out of Go! 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 a risk I'm willing to take. You let go of my daughter, you son of a bitch! Somebody help me! Give it a... You get fucked! No! I can manage to swing out far enough and then defy the laws of gravity and meet the van on the backswing? <laughs> I'll need a torch.
Why? 